Hello and welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Mel DeRolf and in this video I'm going to show you how to prioritize voice over IP traffic using a SonicWall appliance. And I'm going to prioritize this voice over IP traffic using bandwidth management within the phone's egress firewall access rules. It's always good to know what your upload and download speed is from your ISP when dealing with bandwidth management. You can find this out by using any speed test out on the internet. We generally use speedtest.net. It's important to know your bandwidth because each IP phone uses about 90 kilobits per second of data. So if a company were to have 10 phones, that would be 10 times 90, which would be 900 kilobits per second and so on. So you can see voice over IP phones can be real bandwidth hogs. For this example, I will only be using one voice over IP phone. Therefore, I will only have to allocate 90 kilobits per second of prioritized bandwidth for my phone connection. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and log into my SonicWall appliance using the administrator username and password. Okay, so now I'm logged in. I'm going to go ahead and go to Network, Interfaces, and since I'm only dealing with one voice over IP phone, I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my port X4 that's unassigned. So I'm going to hit the Configure Pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and configure this interface to be on the LAN. It's going to be a static IP mode, and the IP address is going to be the gateway for this interface. And subnet. Comment is just going to be Packet A Phone. I'm going to select OK. And now here I've configured this interface to go ahead and plug directly into my phone. Next step is I'm going to go to Network DHCP Server and I'm going to set up a static assignment for my phone. I want it to always be one IP address that I know what it is. So I'm going to set up a static. I'm going to select Add Static. Entry name is Packet A Phone. Static IP address. And it has to be on the same network as my X4 interface. Ethernet address. Least time, we'll just leave it at 1440. Default gateway, this is that IP address of the X4 interface. Subnet as well. And we're going to select the interface pre-populate and choose X4. Select OK. So now I have my static IP assignment for my Packet A phone. If you hit the details, you can see that it's static and Packet A and all the information about it. The next step is I need to go ahead and create an address object. So I'm going to go Network, Address Objects. I'm going to add an address object for my Packet A phone. So the name is going to be Packet A. It's on the LAN, it's a host, and the IP address is going to be the IP address that we just set up on the DHCP server. I'm going to select Add, Close, and now you can see that I have an address object for my Packet A phone with the IP address that was allocated in the DHCP server static range. Okay, so the next step is we're going to want to go to Firewall Settings so we can go ahead and set up our bandwidth management. This is so when we set up our firewall access rule, we can control the voice over IP traffic and prioritize with our bandwidth management. Select bandwidth management, and I'm going to go with global. And we're just going to leave it at a low priority. Basically, these don't mean anything. When it says lowest, low, medium, the priority doesn't really mean anything. Basically, they're just labels. You can allocate any service to whatever service you want to allocate it, but everything in the global bandwidth management mode, all traffic is marked as medium priority unless configured via firewall access rule or app rules. So we're just going to go ahead and I know that I need 90 kilobits per second and we're going to go with a percentage so I'm going to go with just 9% here and I'm just going to add the other 11% somewhere else so that this total is always 100. I'm going to hit accept and then I'm going to go to firewall access rules I'm going to select the matrix view. That cleans up the view so it's easier to see what you're doing. And you go from LAN to WAN. We're going to select Add to add our firewall access rule. The action is going to be Allow. From Zone LAN to Zone WAN. The service is going to be Any. The source is going to be that address object we created, Packet 8 Phone. The destination is going to be Any. And the comment, Packet 8 Phone. Okay. Now, up here for the Ethernet Bandwidth Management tab, this is where we're going to prioritize our traffic for the bandwidth management. We're going to select this tab. We're going to enable outbound bandwidth and enable inbound bandwidth management. And then here's all those labels that we were talking about in the bandwidth management section under firewall settings. And we allocated this label low for our bandwidth management. So we're going to go ahead and select add and close. Okay, so now you see that we have our firewall access rule. We have a source of packet 8. So the packet 8 phone that we created with that IP address is the only address object that can get out to any destination for any service. And it's allow. And we have our comment, packet 8 phone, and then here's our bandwidth management as well. 
Okay, so the phone should be up and running now, and you have proper bandwidth management, so that should eliminate any cracking or any delays or any breaking up of the phone conversations that you're having with any customers. I hope that you have found this information to be useful, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the space below. Thank you, and have a great day.